The sacred arrows of the Cheyenne are the holiest possession of the Cheyenne tribe and were said to be given to their prophet and folk hero Sweet Medicine by the creator himself so that the Cheyenne could gain wisdom and grow closer to him. That is why it was such a significant event when these sacred arrows were captured in battle by one of the Cheyenne's hated enemies, the Pawnee. The Pawnee are a central plains tribe who covered large areas of modern day Kansas and Nebraska. They had many enemies on the plains, including the Sioux, Cheyenne and Arapaho to the north, and the Kiowa and the Comanche to the south. This being the case, they became allies with the United States to fight against their common enemy. They served with the army from 1864 to 1877 and became very well respected trackers and warriors. But this story took place well before that, sometime around the 1830s in central Nebraska. A group of Skidi Pawnee were out on a buffalo hunt and they had set up a temporary camp when they were attacked by a war party of Cheyenne. The Pawnee being caught off guard had no choice but to fight. As the battle began, there was an old man in his teepee who was dying of sickness. He declared that he wanted to die in a final battle rather than wait around for his sickness to get him. The old man's family carried him to the front line of the Pawnee and set him down. They gave him a strong bow and laid arrows in front of him. He had joined the fight. About this time, the Pawnee chief was joining the battle. He was known as Big Eagle among the Pawnee and Spotted Horse among the Cheyenne. Big Eagle rallied his warriors and led a charge on the Cheyenne. The fighting was intense, with it being said that Big Eagle was so fierce that all the Cheyenne wanted to be the one to take him down. Meanwhile, the old man was firing arrows so quickly that the enemy warriors were avoiding him, but then a Cheyenne with a long painted spear came charging at the old man. On this warrior's spear, tied to the shaft with coyote hide, was the bundle of sacred arrows. As the warrior got close, he thrust his spear at the still sitting man, but his attack was just too short and the old man was able to rip the spear out of his attacker's hands. Seeing the bundle, he knew that it must be important. He yelled to some fellow Pawnee to take it back to the village. The Cheyenne were now desperately trying to recover their arrows, but the Pawnee fought fiercely and killed many Cheyenne. Big Eagle rode in the middle of the two battle lines in full view of the enemy. A Cheyenne began to chase him, trying to touch him with his coup stick. When Big Eagle wheeled his horse around and struck the Cheyenne three to four times with his horse whip, it was at this point that the Cheyenne warriors began to retreat. The skiddy Pawnee made a charge on them, and when they had chased them far enough away, they started back for their camp. When they returned to camp, an agreement was made where the spear and one arrow were given to the old man, and three arrows were given to Big Eagle, who was the keeper of the Pawnee sacred Morning Star bundle. From here, the story has a few different versions. A few years later in 1835, some say a Cheyenne man named Grey Thunder visited the Pawnee to negotiate for the sacred arrows, and was given one back but could not secure the others. Some say that during a negotiation between the two tribes, the Cheyenne tricked the Pawnee and ran off with the arrow. Either way, one of the sacred arrows was regained by the Cheyenne without violence. Around two years later in 1837, some Brule Lakota raided a Pawnee village and captured another arrow, likely the one in possession of the old man, who was said to be killed in the raid. The Brules recognized this as a sacred arrow of their allies the Cheyenne and traded it to them for 100 horses. The Cheyenne crafted and blessed two new arrows to replace the ones they could not recover, and the job of keeper of the arrows has been passed down for generations among the Southern Cheyenne tribe of Oklahoma. The most recent arrow keeper I could find information on is William Wayne Red Hat Jr., who served as a U.S. Marine in the Vietnam War, earning numerous awards, including a Purple Heart Medal and three Bronze Stars. After being wounded in battle, he returned home, and after the death of the then-current keeper, his father, he became the keeper of the sacred arrows to the Southern Cheyenne. He held this position for 24 years until his death in 2017. I could not find any information on who the current keeper of the arrows is. The two remaining arrows in possession of the Pawnee were never returned, and it remained a subject of contention between the two tribes for generations.